our first move, we're going to do some arm swings. Here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Warm up those shoulders. All through the workout, you'll be focusing on breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, slow and controlled. We've got three moves. We do twice, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Yes. Our next move is going to be an inchworm. That is where you're walking down and all the way out into plank and then back up again. Here we go. Breathe. 
the jump rope. Use those arms while you're jumping to make it a full body move. Here we go. Leave the floor. Bounce on the tiptoes. Don't be flat footed. Breathe. Don't give up. Rest. Grab those weights. Back to those high knees. Chest press. Here we go. Those shoulders down away from the ears. Don't tense up. You don't have weights, try some bottled water. Keep pushing. Rest. Weights down, speed bag. Here we go. Drag it around, tap out that heel to add to it. Pushing that butt back. 
you're looking for a chair and it's not there. Challenge your arms. Keep those weights up. Rest. Switch sides on your jabs. Here we go. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Rest. We're back to the top. Step back, feet together, step back, feet together. Switch 
your jab in your knee side. Here we go. Jab, knee. Have a flat wrist in those jabs.
This isn't a leg swing. You're pulling that knee up and kicking out. How we feel, ladies? We're almost done. Woo. Woo. Drop those weights if they're becoming too much. Rest. Here we go. We're back to the top. Oblique, front kick, other side. I'm messing up. Here we go. I was front kicking the wrong way. Anybody catch it? They're too busy focusing to see I'm messing up. Again. You can take those weights out. They're becoming too much. Here we go. Jab, jab, drop it. Jab, jab. You took out those weights. Really try to add the hop to make it more. You're hopping, land softly on your toes. Rest. Here we go. Last move of the night. Oblique. Front kick. Here we go. Palms of your hand. 
bring them behind you, open them up that chest. So you want a deeper stretch in your shoulders, push those arms down. Sometimes it's really easy just to feel completely defeated by life. You just feel so stuck where you're at. You're just in like a blah mood and you can't really explain it. And you don't know what needs to happen to come out of it. Well, today I had some scriptures for you and I searched something else and lost them. Um, Ooh, yeah. Let me pull this back up real quick. So I have three scriptures for you that are all from Psalms that are just a reminder of God's promises when we are feeling defeated by life. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 34, 4, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. And Psalms 41 through 3, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit out of the merry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. So we just need to remember it's okay when we feel defeated. It's okay when we just feel like we're struggling with life, but we need to remember God's still there. He's listening. He knows our hearts. He knows our prayers, and if we are seeking him, he will bring us out of that feeling. We can't just stay stuck there. We need our good, good father to bring us out of it. So that is my encouragement for you this week. I hope you like the class and reach out to us on Facebook, Faithful Fitness with Chrissy, or on our website, faithfulfitnesswithchrissy.com.